and welcome back to another lippy review. So today we're doing one from one of the two Holiday Burt's Bees lip shimmer sets. They did a cool collection and a warm collection and I think I'm gonna start off with just what is my favorite lip shimmer color from Burt's Bees overall. I have owned it before several times over and it is the watermelon shade. So let me pull that out. I knew it was gonna be tricky as soon as I realized what shirt I put on today to find anything tinted that wouldn't clash with it. So at this point, I'm kind of at the point of, fuck it, if it clashes, it clashes, I don't really care. <laughs> uh, we're doing it anyway, so. Oh, it really does not want to come out. Come on, you, there. There we go. So, I kind of put it back together. No, not really. Okay. Yeah, that's, nah. All right. <laughs> Gonna kind of just jam it. Oh, it was that way, the Okay. Give me a minute. So, the Cool Collection has apricot, grapefruit, and watermelon in it. And the Warm Collection has fig, rhubarb, and peony. So, um, frankly, these are basically among my favorite shades they did anyway, so the fact that they picked that those six I am quite pleased with. And I realize I'm not sure if I ever did did review any of the lip shimmers before so we're doing them now so individually lip shimmers cost like five bucks a piece but in the sets at least at target anyway i can't speak for elsewhere but they cost 10 bucks there so not bad at all but yeah so we're gonna do watermelon which i think is gonna be real pretty on regardless um it's kind of like a mauvey shade let me go ahead and Tear that safety seal on it. Oop. It's trying to glue itself to my nail, it is. Alright. Off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I forgot. That was the biggest pain in the ass with these. It's literally just getting that off of your hand after you get it off of the tube. So. It looks like this. Very pretty. It is tinted before you ask. And these all have, like, that really nice, like, minty tingle to them. That's one of the things that I adore about them so much. So, formalize, it is a tinted balm in a stick format. A skinny stick, but still a stick. They contain, how much is in them? 0 0.09 ounces, so a little more than a soft lip skinny stick, but definitely less than a standard stick. So it's that kind of in between the two polarities there. Um, Packaging-wise, it's just a plastic tube. Actually, I, I kind of like their design because the turn wheels are never wiggly on these. The caps are great. It just, it's a really nice design from them. Um, I'm not sure if they're synthetic or organic. Let me look real quick. Castor seed oil, sunflower seed. Yeah, they're organic. Sunflower seed oil, mica, beeswax, uh, candelilla wax, peppermint oil, lanolin, titanium dioxide, cocoa seed butter, carnauba wax, shea butter, Strawberry seed oil, apricot kernel oil, black currant uh, seed oil, rosemary leaf extract, Samucus negro seed oil, tocopherol, canola oil, soybean oil, alumina, carmine, iron oxide, different iron oxide, eugenol, limonene, and linalool. So, that's those. Um, while the set may be limited edition, the colors are not. They have sold these for many, 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 many years. I think I had my first one of these probably like six or seven years ago in this shade, so I mean, they have been around a long time and much longer than that. That's just when I first stumbled onto them, but they've been around so long, dudes. They are a classic. So, um, I don't think they're medicated exactly. Uh, I, I at one point mistook them for it because the tingling was so intense, but no, it's just the peppermint oil. Uh, no SPF or anything. No special features. They just have a minty scent, so let me swatch real quick before I put it on. Oh, this is a lot lighter than they used to be in this color. Like, straight up, that used to be a much more vibrant shade. Like, I wish I had some of my old ones to compare, but oh well, it's still really pretty though. So let's go ahead and put it on. On the other hand though, it does make me feel more confident wearing it with this shirt because it's not going to clash so terribly like I thought it was. And it is buildable color, like you're seeing it build up. Ok, 
kick. That's actually pretty nice. I'm pleased with that. However, they are one of those that once you roll it up, good luck getting it to go back down in the tube because it's probably not gonna. So don't put too much up the tube any given point in time or you'll have a problem with the cap. So fair warning, been there, done that. Kind of forgot that these do that because it's been a while since I've used one, but clearly they've not worked for that part out. But anyway, so they do have that nice minty tingle, which I love. Uh, it will transfer. I don't even need to check it because I've used these so many times before that I can just... They do. They do. So, there's that. But they feel really nice on. They're super creamy, super moisturizing, which is great given that they're tinted, that it's like the best of both worlds of like a balm and a lipstick at the same time. Love that about them. Um, are they super long-lasting? No, but I mean... They're a lip shimmer, not a lipstick technically, so I mean, I don't mind reapplying personally. Um, I do feel chaps through it, so it's not really thick enough to like cover that, unfortunately. But uh, it is shiny, as you can see, which I love about it. I'm going to do the drink test, because I don't remember how they hold up to that. It held up pretty decently, okay. And even though I see it on the mug, like it, very much still there. All right. I do give them the wow factor, though. Re regardless, all things aside, I do love these. I love this line. Um, personally, I think I prefer it to their lipsticks, but that's just my own opinion. You're allowed to have yours. <laughs> um, but it is what it is. So I think I'm going to rate this. What am I going to rate this? Um. Frickin' phone never fails, although it's the other phone this time. <laughs> um, well, I, I can feel chaps through it, so that's a point against it. It does transfer kind of bad. Um, trying to think. And the fact that it does, like, kind of get stuck up the tube to where it doesn't really roll back down that for me, I mean... It's not a major thing, but it is like a pet peeve, so <laughs> um, I think I'm going to rate this a 7 out of 10, which is still really good. It's still above average, so if you've never tried them, this is a great time of year to try them because they do have the gift sets out, but if you just want to try one, you can find them pretty much anywhere that sells lip balms and makeup because pretty much everywhere has at least some of them. So try Walgreens, Walmart, CVS, you know, Target, anywhere. Pretty much anywhere. Even, like, the grocery store. I've seen some of them there, too. So, literally, pretty much everywhere has these. <laughs> so, anyway. That is it, my dudes. So, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts. My Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.